Well, what's up and welcome to another House Flipper Showcase. And today we have got our final base game house, besides maybe our office, that we have to sell to finish the uh, official game. So, here we are. This is the uninhabited house. And we just got a 404 scoring English garden. Let me take you through the garden and then I'll take you through the house. You have lily gardens. Okay. Lily Garden, Lily Garden, and they're beautiful. I love the way they look. Over here, you've got a small garden, just a, a mixed everything garden. Over here, you've got a, uh, I can't think of a tulip garden with some lily stuff. You've got your yellow garden here. Of course, I've got the, the uh, I call them the, the centerpieces, but, you know, the end pieces, the bookends, but anyway, we've got our yellow garden here, a tulip garden, which we've never really done a specific lily garden and then a tulip garden, so that's cool. We've got our shrubberies, and you've got a nice little place to set here. You've got your water uh, thing there. You've got a rose garden over here. This is a really nice rose garden. You've got three benches with... Uh, fire pits and water features and this is just a, a beautiful rose garden here as well we've well lit as well over here we've got a new design for our large uh pond and we've just got these setting around it this way and we've got one on this way so you can set down here and you can chat to your friends here and you can also just set it over there and check out this the rhododendron garden if you're looking over here you come in over here you can set it this one and check out the small pond and sit there and talk you can come on around here you've got your uh, hydrangea garden and then you've got part of your purple garden here it's sort of you've got a yellow backdrop there to fill in some yard space and then you've got another little garden space, which goes to your back door, which is really cool. So here you start your purple garden, and it kind of works its way around. And then it's like it tapers off, and then it comes in over here. They have changed the height of these. They've shortened them. So they no longer work with Veronica in front of them. Veronica will have to go behind those now. But you've got this long walkway on this side that comes over here. And you can just come over here and sit down. You've got these. You've got another little garden with the red and the nepeta and then the red ones. And then you've got another uh, motif with this that ties into these over here. And then you've got two sunflowers. So... This has been a big project here, and Nameless done a lot of the designs for this, what we done, and she was very happy with this house, and it, she was a very, it was a very dear project to her, I think. So, you come in, we've got a nice little doormat, uh, it's just a room, but she died to have these here so I, I put them there you can come in here and you've got your garage and then you've got a door to end there we've got plenty of lighting now over here uh well, you've got your air conditioner you've got some pictures on the wall and stuff a lot of this stuff is the same stuff that was here but we redone things around it or we changed it up a little bit so this kitchen has been tiled up in a way that makes it look just amazing compared to what it did you even got a tv in here you've got a dining area in here yeah you got a bunch of cool stuff in here. so we didn't mess with much of this but the walls and stuff we did and we opened it up with a door frame instead of a door and here you have your bathroom, your downstairs bathroom. It's a very simple bathroom. You don't have to have a bunch of other stuff. So there you go. 
Now, this house is kind of cool. It has two uh, living rooms, and this is the viewing room. So you've got a fireplace in here. Most of this stuff was here. And that's why we're keeping, uh, we kept most of it, I should say, and we rearranged it from one room to another or something like that to get it to work. And so this is what we got from here. Uh, we saved a lot of money doing that. Now going in here, you have the sitting room office or it's kind of a sitting room, office, and home library all at, all in one. So, uh, Nameless designed the wallpapers, basically, and it's really nice. So, I love the way that this turned out. She really enjoyed this as well. So, let's come on up here. And go up the stairs. Now, I'm going to show you a few things first. We're going to go down here. And we're going to go in here. This is a bathroom that I designed thinking of her because she loves purple. And there's a purple floor she approved. We tiled the walls. And we changed out a few things, and we put up the mirror, I think, and we put in a new toilet and stuff like that. So this turned out really nice in here. And then you come on back here, and in here we we put up new lighting all over so that it would be more well lit, and it worked out really well. Uh, I liked it a lot. I thought it was really nice that it done that. Uh, it was just really dark and kind of dreary. Uh, she wanted to have these up here. So we put them up here. And also, because we've done that, we've got these down here as well. What we originally had, which were these, they are now in the garage. So... That's why we have all the runners. Nameless changed her mind. So, now we're going to go into another room she designed. And that is the laundry room. And she says, hey, put me a TV in the laundry room and a poof. So, she's got a beanbag poof. She's got a TV in here. She's got her laundry room. And this is a glitch that happens. I don't know why. And then... She's got this elliptical pattern with the tiles and the gray floor. And she was very adamant this is how she wanted that room. So we've got two bedrooms in this house. Here we go. This is bedroom number one. It's a nice blue and the black constellation with the gold, black and gold. She's got uh, a T or well, there there is a TV, there is a painting. You've got a a beauty center you've got your other stuff here so you've got your shoe cabinets here and you've got a bed here that you can take down to, to get that with this goes back to like i done in the man cave she's seen that and she's like oh you got to do that there so that's why we put that specific bed in there she wanted it designed that way so now this is her bedroom she said and so you come in you've got a little cabinet you've got that there got a corner tv stand with that if y'all don't know the um the old tvs will not fit on the stand they fall through it so you can't put them on it it kind of stinks uh this is her wardrobe and then over here she's just got her bed with the stuff and then her painting and she really wanted to have she really wanted to have this over the bed in here and so there it is and she really really likes that that's actually a painting that i believe somebody in her family had given her and so she owns the painting and i looked it up and it is uh 
it is considered uh, public domain now. So there we go. And that is the uninhabited house. So thank you for joining. Thank you for checking out the best English garden I've ever done. We'll see you next time. If you like my content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.